on, people? Your boy, Man Mike, coming at you guys with another segment of Ask Man Mike. I absolutely love this segment, man. This is one of my better segments because I get to answer you guys' questions, man. Get my thoughts on you guys' questions, all right? So continue to leave your comments in the comment section. Hashtag Mad Mike so I can see it. I um, don't have to search for it, but man, like I said, I love doing this, man. I love it. I love it. Love it. Even though it may not agree with everything that we, you know, I say, I may not agree with everything that you say, man. This is this is all fun, man. We just kind of, you know, we just football fans. We really just football fan when it comes down. So let's get to it, man. All right, man, Mike. Do you think an undrafted free agent, Mitch Hyatt, can beat out? Offensive tackles Mike Gunno or Tyson Barlow for one of those two spots. Also, if he puts in the work during training camp, but does it beat either? What could he be? Could he secure a practice squad spot? Um. Uh, look, man, we gotta leave Tyson Barlow alone, man. I know it's just slight hate from Tyson Barlow. We can't get over the fact that Vic. Beasley beat the man for three and a half sacks. All right, and it wasn't all his fault. That was just a poor game plan from the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos did not send a injured guy help. And for Vic Beasley, for any linebacker, any defensive end, if you don't send help, look, and he's continuously beating the guy. That's the offensive coordinator. That's the coach. You have to adjust, and they didn't adjust. And Vic Beasley took full advantage as he should okay he should have picked on uh he should have taken full advantage of a Tyson Barlow so Tyson Barlow I don't see him taking Tyson Barlow's spot not happening Matt Gunnell possibly but not Vic BC that's not going to happen Vic is the truth man next up Junior Leon asks Matt Mike do you think we should sign and Dominican too um, I do not think the Falcons should sign in Dominican Sue. It would not hurt to sign a guy if they could, like in Dominican Sue, because I think he's a major, major player still at his, you know, his stature, his tenure uh, in the NFL. Uh, we saw last year when you put him uh, side by side with a guy like Aaron Donald, who can create, help create double one on ones for. A guy like Aaron Donald, if he could do something like that for the Atlanta Falcons, you know, it would be great. But the Falcons already signed a guy, two guys, for the, uh, for a fact that matter. Um, and Tyler Davidson, I think he's going to play the role of, you know, that guy who's going to eat up space and get clear one-on-ones for Grady Jarrett. Uh, another guy is Rasheed Hageman. Rasheed Hageman is a guy that I absolutely love. All right? I absolutely love Rasheed Hageman. So he's going to have a chance to, you know, prove himself, to come back from, you know, his issues with uh, off the field. But I do not think the Atlanta Falcons will sign in Dominican too. Just don't have the money for it. But that's my thing. That's my take. Next up is the highlight reel. Do you think we will be able to get Eric Berry? He has been injury prone the last two seasons. He might come at a cheap price, but I think he's from Georgia. He could be a hometown discount. Uh, I know we have Neil Allen. Berry will, will be a nice presence to help KZ develop at at least a one-year deal. Uh, let's get this straight. We have to get this straight. This is one thing that Atlanta Falcons fans just have to get straight. Dan Quinn does not want all right, guys that he, you know, basically have to, you know, teach them a, a completely different style of play. If you're not already at this point, you know, one of Dan Quinn's guy, he's not going to sign you. And as much as I love Eric Berry, he has been injury prone. And I don't think at this point the Falcons – would take a chance on a guy like Eric Berry. He's just, he's not reliable. And that just, it's just real, all right? As much as I like him, as much as I think, you know, he could be a, a nice piece for the Atlanta Falcons, the Falcons have enough pieces at safety. Uh, KZ, Neil, Allen, and they're, you know, have a couple other guys. But I don't think that the Falcons will sign a guy like Eric Berry. No way. But that's just my take, man. I don't, I don't dislike Eric Berry, but at this point, man, I don't think the Falcons signing a guy like an Eric Berry would do any good for us. He he would be just another piece. And granted that I feel the Falcons would use more um, 
four four bear fronts, four six bear fronts or whatnot. Um, they even may go to a lot of three three five. Uh, we've seen a lot of that from the Atlanta Falcons. So um, you could see some changes, but I don't think Eric Berry would be here in Atlanta. But let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy Man Mike is out, man. Peace.